In today's video, we answer a very important question. What route of storage are we taking? Alright guys, so welcome back to All The Mods 8. I'm glad you're here. Um, we've run into a snag. Now originally for today's episode, I was gonna automate iron, but we've run into quite a problem. Um, we're out of storage. We have no more storage. It's at its limit. Uh, pumpkins, can you go in there? You can. Pants, no. Uh, blue orchids, no. Iron probably can, but we are 100% full. Now we can go ahead and put diamond upgrades on all of these, but I feel like that would be very inefficient and not very good. Um, and so, yeah, as you can see from my menu here, I have re refined storage pulled up. Now the debate really goes back and forth between refined storage uh, because refined storage is very simple. It's also very powerful. Um, and then applied energistics too is the other way we could go. Um, it's a lot more advanced. It, there has, there's a lot of limitations. There's a lot of problem solving. So what I've decided to do is we are going to build a refined storage system and then after we're further along in the the world we're going to switch everything over to applied energistics because when i've built refined storage systems in the past they get really advanced and then they normally crash the world to a point where we have to reload backups and like it corrupts the world so in order to prevent that I want to do like a basic refined storage system and then once we uh, get really far into the pack we're going to switch over to applied energistics too and then we'll run from there if you guys don't like it i'm sorry i'm just trying to please everyone i can't please everyone so you're not being pleased sorry about that but anyway we're going to get started into refined storage today um and we're going to have some fun doing it so what we really need is a lot of storage so we have 24,000 items so we need at least that much in storage so we're going to need a couple of 16ks or possibly like 164k or two of them uh, but that might be the goal for the video and i do believe yeah we do have the ability to go even higher than 64k is this feasible today i don't believe so uh, it could be, it could not be, I don't know. This goes up to infinite, I believe, if I'm not correct. If I'm correct. If I'm not correct, then it doesn't go up to infinite. Yeah, there is infinite storage disk. I mean, we might be able to do a system where we combine applied energistics and refined storage, but we're not going to worry too much about that today. And so the first thing we're going to need to do is get... Uh, quite a bit of iron and then some nether quartz. Now I have the iron part covered, however I don't have the quartz part covered. So that means I will have to take an adventure to the nether, which is not super duper ideal. Uh, I'm just checking here to make sure there's not some cool method to get quartz in the pack that I'm not aware of. Uh, I do believe I need to travel to nether and I'm not the biggest fan of the nether just because I die a lot, but um, yeah, I'm well diorite. You can crush it. You get a 25 chance percent chance of that. But then to make the diorite, yeah, I mean it would just be best if I made some nether quartz seeds. But we're not making that today. We're gonna do the hard method of finding nether quartz. So let's see about repairing our osmium pickaxe. I don't even know if this is repairable. It's a really good pickaxe. I'd like it if it's re repairable. Oh, and if you notice, I feel really fast. It's because I found this chest while I was mining, and it gives us a 25% boost in speed, so that's why. And we can't repair it. Beautiful. I had no worries. We can always put mending on it later on when we get the villagers uh, in their own little area, because I do plan to do a couple things with villagers, but I shall warn you, I am on my way. We will be going to the nether, and this is what I got for my last mining session, so we're going to be taking this. All right, onward and upward. Okay, so I'm just browsing, like running through the nether. Sorry, I thought those were slime blocks for a second. And then this guy, Joshua, that's really weird, just shows up. Um, maybe we see about cheese in this dude? Oh, geez. Oh, Nelly. How much health does he have? 103 hearts. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of hearts. What does more damage? So 10, this does 14. I have to hit this dude like 50 times. We seem to be in a good spot. He's down to 80 health. I'm getting crit damage. I don't know what that's from. Okay, we're down below 20 hearts. 
Dude, Josh was a beast. Okay, we got him. What do we get? Ooh, a chest plate. All right, Joshua's reinventalizing iron chest plate of the defender. Okay, so protection four, unbreaking four. Wow. Norse 32% of durability damage. Entity gravity. Okay, lots of armor, armor toughness. We're not fast as frick though, boy. So I don't know if we can have it, but that's cool. We got a really good chest piece. Uh, now we're gonna continue to move on. Okay, dudes. So back from the nether, we have 269 quartz. That's perfectly good. Cause I'm only gonna need, I don't know, maybe this many, only a stack, but I got some good levels too. Um, and yeah, there we go. Four stacks of the refined iron, beautiful. All right, so now that we got those, we need to uh, kind of worry about getting these guys, but you know, we need latex or slime balls. So what I was thinking is in the nether, hang on, I need to grab a cardboard box. Um, I found something. So those have spawners in them. Um, do we have, oh, we have enough for, we have enough to craft another cardboard box, cool. Okay, so this is how we're gonna get slimes. If we go back, Spooky noise, which is fine. But I found a magma cube spawner. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a killing platform for them. Cause if we look at mag, magma, oh, frick. If we look at magma, and we go uses, um, there should be an ability for us to process these guys. Yes, yeah, so we can do separating, um, so yeah, we have to we have to set up a little bit of FTB uh, industrial contraptions, but you know we can easily do that. And then what do we have in here? Uh, Chainmail, uh, compressed iron. We'll take that. Ooh, pickup upgrade for a backpack. Glowing water harms undead enemies. Interesting. Cool. But yeah, I've been just oh origins of darkness. We might need that. Cool. But yes, super simple. Let's go ahead and set up the farm killing chamber. Um, now it's good. Wow. Well, we, we, we're just so limited on storage room, but we really, really need the, um, the, the storage basically, or the, the, in order to increase the storage, we need the magma cubes. So let's work on, um, let's see snow cap oven fuel. No, we can't use that. We're gonna need to make a separator, centrifuge. Which is okay. Um, yes, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this bad boy up and we will continue on. So we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need some rubber, uh, which means we need, oh, slime. The thing we need. Well, maybe we can utilize our, um, pressure chamber, which get some cactus on some snad and then we'll get uh, some milk and we'll make some slime balls. So that's what we'll do. I'm gonna go do that now. So guys, just wanted to update you here real quick. Uh, I crafted up a nature's compass. Uh, this is from nature's compass. It's pretty simple uh, structure compass. I didn't realize that was a thing, but it just takes saplings, some wood and a compass. And what this does is you can click it and then figure out, like you can just click it and it will tell you where the cl uh, closest biome is that you're looking for. So we found a desert, uh, it's about 1200 blocks away. So I'm heading there now to get some cactus, uh, maybe set a waypoint. Um, and then be able to get there whenever I need to have like massive sand. So yeah, pretty neat. Okay, so I went ahead and set up a immersive engineering garden cloche here just because they were taking so long to grow over there. I mean, they've, they've grown now, but they were just taking a while and I've got 13, 20, sorry to that over there. But anyway, let's go ahead and utilize our cool system here. Okay, so the milk has been put in. The milk has been put in. <laughs> it's just taken a while. Oh, because it's it's got to do its thing, I think. Oh, 
Okay. So now the milk's in. Then this opens back up and... Then the cactus can start flowing. Okay, so... Here we go. We'll do one of those and then cactus. Oh, it's not cactus. It needs to be cactus dye. That's what the problem is. Oh, I feel so silly. Okay, no worries. Let's smelt it up. Okay, now I do believe it's one to one for the slime. Um, there we go. Yep, that went in. We got pretty good pressure in there. It is getting a little high, but the good thing is this will vent it if I'm not mistaken if it gets too high, so that's good. So these should be combining. Let's see, slime in. Oh, it's four. Four to one. Okay, so we need three more. That'll do. Three more. Amazing. Okay. Now three are in. Boop, they're in. Yes, and we have slime balls. Amazing, cool. So that means we can start the first process of our um, uh, refined storage journey. All right, so here we go. We need to make some processor bindings here. Now we should have quite a few. Oh, wow, we actually quite have, oh, we have a lot of slime. We have one left, we don't have a lot. Uh, we had a lot more than I thought we did and slime, you get eight for one, so that's good. We have quite a bit of, of it now. Um, and so now we need silicone as well. I believe, yeah, that's quartz smelted up, which is crazy to smelt quartz. It feels wrong on so many levels. Um, where did my quartz go? Did it go in here? Where did I put it? Is it in the backpack? Because we only use one stack of the quartz. I somehow have only 11 now. Did I really use all of the quartz I had gotten? That's not good. All right, back, back to the nether, jeez. I'm so silly. It's right here. I don't need. I don't need to go to the Nether. Jeez. Yeah. It, it it's chilling right here. So we're, we're okay. I just I forgot I put it in there because we don't really have any storage here. Who would have figured? All right. So in refined storage, there's a couple of things we need to craft right away, uh, and that's going to be the controller. This is basically the the heart and brain of the system here. This kind of connects everything. Uh, we need a disk drive to hold all the storage items, and then we'll need a crafting grid. Uh, you can just use a grid if you don't want to have the crafting part of it but we want to be able to have our crafting and our items at the same spot. Get out of here, crazy bug. But anywho, we're gonna go ahead and start with the controller here. So we need four of these, an advanced processor, which uses a diamond and some of the um, silicone pieces. So we're gonna make one of these right now. Let's melt it up. It's okay, we're automating. We have automated charcoal, so having one smelt isn't a big deal. Probably could have just thrown it in here though. That would have been smarter. Okay, anywho, we have that and we just need this guy. Cool, so we have the controller here. Beautiful, all right. We've got that guy taken care of. Now we're gonna work on some disc drives. We need two more of those. So um, I, I, I say we need two more of these because I wanna craft two of them. Cool, so let's put these guys in here. All right, cool. They're done smelting, amazing. So that means we need to craft two of these. Being very careful of the materials that we use. Um, we do have, oh, we do not. Okay, that means we should be able to craft this now. 
awesome sawsome. Okay, so these will go here, and then now we just need the crafting grid. So this is going to be a little bit more advanced because we need to make the grid, uh, which requires a couple more of these processors here, and I'm getting a lot of frame rate losing. Okay, that was weird. Something on the page that's causing the issue, or is... Huh, it was being loaded in our crafting window that did it. Okay, so we'll just need a um, couple of these. We're out of the silicone. That's okay. We got more coming. Here we go. Those can get smelted up. Perfect. And then we're going to need, I believe, two iron ones. Yes. Cool, cool. Uh, actually, no. We need more than that. Uh, we should be able to craft this. And we need one quartz. And we can craft this guy. Now, oh, we should be good to craft it, actually. Just the grid. Nope, we need one more of these guys. All right, now we can make the, the grid. Amazing. And then to turn it into a crafting table, we need one of the advanced processors. One more. There we are, and uh, we need a crafting table. All right, and the crafting grid is ours. Perfect. So we just got to give this guy power and the system's online. So that's amazing. Um, now we need to start our adventure into the 1Ks. So we can, um, let's make a 1K. And we are going to actually put it in the system here. And we'll put all of the items that it needs um, to make more 1Ks. So we can kind of utilize the new system for that. Um, we need a wind generator. We're here. Come on. A wind generator. All right. Uh, let's see here. Do we have the materials? No. Yes. Come on, we had one more left. Where did those go? All right, it's plain hard to get. We're gonna go around it and just do this. Cool, so we're gonna put one of these right above us back here, I wanna say. Let's see, I need to find, I'm gonna make a, a waypoint where we want it. And so we'll go J, waypoints new here and so when we look down we'll be able to figure out where it's at and then we'll have it go a couple blocks behind it um, so we're gonna be putting our wind generator probably right up here the good thing too is the higher this guy goes up the more power it produces so it works doubly good Okay. And so we'll put this guy right here. Uh, and then I let's see, yeah, this guy's generating even more power. And then I also found out that right below is another power tap. So we can just go directly down from here. I had no idea that it would just be right down below, which is amazing. Um, it looks like we're going to have to kind of do some routing here okay so yeah this is where the power will come down it's a little ugly I'm actually thinking about moving the enchanting table anyway um, to the farm area or the the mob slaughter area I should say because it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to have it so close over here but uh, yeah we need some energy cable. Uh, we're going to need a lot more than this. We need some more steel. Okay. We got we got the iron and the redstone to do that. So I'll let this go for a bit and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got enough here, but the problem is is that it's a blood moon now 
and we gotta go outside. So we're gonna place a couple torches there, and then I believe, oh, we got an Enderman. Yes! We even got two Ender Pearls. Very cool. Okay. So we're gonna see if we can. Wait, it's up here. Okay. Don't wanna utilize that. We'll use dirt. I don't wanna use our, our smooth stone, you know? There we go. Okay. And then this guy. Where do you guys keep coming from? They're crazy. Okay, so this is where we need the power to be. Um, how? Oh, I know how to get out of here. Okay, and then we will utilize just these and this and then we can do slash home and we're in front perfect okay so oh wait we can just maybe run the cable through here we can break this guy temporarily and then this will let us run the cable all the way to our system yes so now this is online amazing this feels so much better so everything we need for the uh cables we need the silicone okay so here we go those are going here this can go here somewhere okay so we find storage we need to make a bunch of these guys so we need Processor binding, silicone, redstone, and then a bunch of iron, like this. Okay, how are we looking? We have 642 items in there. All right, so that was 49 of those. And so now we can smelt these, and that should let us have a lot of crafting options. Spooky lady. Anywho. Um, yeah, so that's for there. And so the 1Ks will utilize none of those. But the 4Ks will. <laughs> okay. That had me worried for a little bit, not gonna lie. Okay, and then we can get more of those guys smelting because we're gonna need a lot of those, actually. So it might be pretty good for us if we were to um, automate... Yes, Blood Moon's gone. Amazing. And the raining is gone. Amazing. So it might just be best for us to go ahead and utilize uh, mystical agriculture and a garden cloche to make the seeds. Um, like for, what's it called? Uh, for uh, quartz seeds so we can automate it. Um, but yeah, we're still waiting for this to get done. It's melting up these guys so we can make another 1K. But yeah, this process is rolling. We need glass. Need lots of glass. Okay, I'm gonna be here for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna make go up to the four Ks, which just require basic processors, uh, three one Ks, and then four basic processors with enriched iron quartz. And we will be back in a moment. Okay, so I believe now we have all of the materials to go ahead and make the sixty four Ks. Uh, yep, we're out of those. Oh wait, yep, we have enough. And boom, we have our first 64K storage part. Uh, all we need to do is go like this and then put it in. And now we have 65,000 items that we can store. Um, the cool thing is I did make quite a few more than I needed to when it came to the 1K. So uh, just a couple more of these guys. And I mean, we could make ourselves another 16K if we really wanted, uh, which is pretty cool. Here we go. Uh, and then just two more of these and Oh yeah, we have a, another 64K, but we'll just put this here for now. So now we have 81,000. So now I get to do the process of moving all of our items over to our system. So here we go. It didn't vein mine it, that sucks. Is it gonna vein mine this one or am I being crazy again? Nope, it didn't vein mine it. Okay, so at integrated, there's a wrench for this, perfect. So now I will make all of this. But anywho, the fun process of moving everything over starts 
now. All right, so that has been taken care of. It was actually really, really easy because we have the magnetic hammer. So I would just mine up in a line and it would just get pulled over. So very, very nice there. So what we're gonna do is break this here and then we'll vein mine this. And so that's good to go. We'll vein mine this, 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 and this guy. And all of our items are actually within uh, those dudes. So here we go. That goes here. This goes here. And what I mean by those dudes is these storage discs. So there we go. And then all we got to do is put this guy here and bam, our storage system has been completely revamped. Um, I think it'd be nice to fill this in a little bit, make it look a little bit presentable. Maybe hide this this way. That way we don't have to look at it from the bottom. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the, the biggest fan of it, but uh, it works good. Let's put a um, blast furnace down there. On the left, a booyah, and then some kivy bricks. Or tiles, sorry. Like so. And then we can get rid of these guys. Because they don't really do anything anymore. Perfect. So our refined storage system is in. Uh, we're using seven FE per tick. We're generating way more up there. So we might just put a battery, but our system now runs on its own. Like we don't have to do anything. Um, so yeah, we have digital storage. It's a lot better. Uh, Cause if we just take a look at this. So I showed you kind of earlier what had happened when you would try to shift click things in. And now this just allows us to click things in super, super fast. No hassles anymore of trying to shift click items in and them not going in properly. So very, very good. Very happy about that. That'll make our life a lot easier. Plus we have a lot more storage now, which is amazing. And then we can also automate it and set it up so that it puts our items into our storage drawers over there automatically. Because soon we will need to automate resource gathering so that we can be cool. But yeah, the last of the resources is now in. Very cool. Let me see how much time we've got left in the episode and we'll move on from there. So come here, little orbs of items. Yeah, that was easy. Booyah. So everything's looking fantastic. Okay, so I want to finish off the episode by crafting and getting the... Um, the magma cubes set up so that is our chicken farm it's been doing really well as you guys can see i do have it chunk loaded so it's working pretty much 24 7. i went ahead and removed the blocks i just didn't like the way they looked uh we can talk about it later but anyway let's go ahead and make the mob fans uh and upgrades so that we can get this far departed so we'll need three of those again and this will go above i think i think we'll put it above the zombie farm we have to do this in a kind of a different way. Um, we're gonna be pushing the um, magma cubes into a iron spike. And then we'll be doing stuff like that. So let me see here. Okay, so we actually, we're only gonna need one fan, believe it or not. And we're gonna need it to be this Y, three of those. And we're gonna need to make quite a few of these. So one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and then we need a couple blocks of iron. Okay, so how many does that make now? Because I have, I think, two or just one in here. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need a total of nine of these. Okay. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. That just wasted a sword. Cool. All right, recipe, recipe. One, two, three, four. Beautiful recipe. 
thing. Okay, so we have a total of nine of those now. Very cool. So we're just gonna push all of them into there. And then we need a vacuum hopper. Um, I believe. Okay. Yeah, this guy right here. Can we turn this guy into the advanced? Yes, we can. And then uses seven blocks away can be filtered. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to make a drawer. Um, let's see. What do magma cubes even drop? I think they just dropped that, um, unless they're like if, if they're killed by that. So I think we just need a normal drawer. If they're killed by a frog, then they drop the frog light thing. Um, we're gonna make a upgrade for it here real quick. Make two upgrades. Perfect. Okay. So this one's gonna be a little different. Um, I need materials if I'm going to do this right. Okay, so let's go to the area down here. Um, this is going to be fairly simple. I'm excited about that. Okay, so we're going to break these guys here. The fan will be here. Oops, I forgot to grab a redstone block. There we go. All right, and it's okay if we just put this guy here for now. Should push us. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna need a couple of push upgrades. That's right. We'll bring three just in case. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll put this guy here with the item collector on top. Yeah, this will work amazingly. So it's just gonna take the, um, magma cubes and put them around just double check this is the right one still sure is okay let's go ahead and get this added all right so two from the top there we go whoops get that broken Alrighty. There we go. Cool. Okay, so that has now been turned on. The magma cubes should start to die. Well, however, we do need to try to find a way to get them. Um, we might just put these into a um, some kind of chest. So they drop raw fire shards. So we need to have a double decker. This guy here instead, we have him. Okay, so there's something I wanna actually try here real quick. Uh, Pneumaticraft has these and I haven't seen any experience come from the spikes, even though it says they should drop spikes. I haven't actually seen any XP come from them. So what I want to do is set this guy up. Um, yeah, so this will continue to spawn these guys. Yeah, even when I'm not in the area. So when we come back to here, 
there should be a lot of these guys spawned in. Yeah, the best way to check that probably be from over this way. Okay, so I'm out of range and they still should spawn because it's loaded. Now I can go in there and upgrade the consistency at which they spawn. How does the agitator work? So it says reduced functionality due to the presence of the hypothesis mod. Mobs won't spawn when players are too far away, but any mobs which do get spawned won't despawn when players move away. Oh, okay. So because of the hypothesis mod, that's been taken out, which is a bummer, but we do have a way to um, kind of counteract that. Spawner, hypothesis, perfect. This is what we want. Oh my gosh, what's the lag? Okay, so another star will ignore players. This will ignore lights. Um, silent, no AI. No AI is probably a pretty good one. Okay, so sugar is spawn delay. So that's probably one we want. Um, do, do, do. Blaze rods is spawn range. So we'll take this so we have better spawn range. And then we'll get some sugar cane. I don't want to do too much because we could really overcook this. Um, I think 10 would probably be good. Yeah, but we could definitely overdo this very easily and then have to go find another magma spawner. I, don't, I would prefer not to do that. This guy's climbing the ladder. No, he just kept going. So Magma Cube's gonna die. So if we... That's a thing? Ah, dang it. Okay. So that should mean that's exactly what that does. Very cool, okay. So we do this. Big spawn range, cool. And then... Wait, sugar isn't it? Oh, it was just lagging. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I did that right. Wait, is it spawn right? Like, oh, shoot. It's a radius. Not like how far away I am from it. Activation range is what we were looking for this here. Oh, shoot. Okay. We need to fix that. I'm not doing this very good. Oh, I'm about to die. Okay. How do we take that off? Plus quartz in offhand. Okay. All right, here we go. Hopefully this works. Okay, so this thing's working again. Uh, it's not as you know super duper quick as I'd like, but it is making us some um, magma cream, which is really good now that we have that much. We've got a couple of magma cubes that are running amok in the world, which is kind of funny. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did like it, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.